Yes, this is Tom Conman, Connors professional street basketball player and multiple Guinness World Record holder. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today we're going to run a sick uh, street ball move through the legs, but we're going to go round the back, okay? So um, you may have seen Professor do this and stuff, but I've been busting this move out since 2002. 2002, people. So Brad, come in on, in, and uh, he plays basketball here at the university at high level. He's 6'3", 6'4", uh, perfect height, okay, to pull this move on. So if you're looking to pull some of these moves off, obviously if they're shorter, if they're shorter, it's gonna be harder to put the basketball through the legs. So um, Brad's here is perfectly volunteered for this, uh, for this move, you up for it? We're gonna break it down, how to go through the legs, backwards style. Okay, so how do you break down this move? How do you pull it off? It's not just about putting the basketball through someone's legs and pulling on these moves. You have to, if you really want to be a great street ball player and pull off these moves for the crowd and have some fun, you've got to, you've got to master them. You've got to master how the defenders stood, what to do, and when to do it. Okay, and that's how you master these tricks. Okay, so Brad's here is in a defensive stance. Okay, his right leg is forward. He's in a great defensive position. It's actually easier to pull off these moves with, with a great defender, okay? So he's in great defensive stance. And all obviously I'm gonna come down and get into a situation. Now there's a few ways you can do it. You can actually stay static, okay? So you're here and you can lull the defender a little bit, okay? And as you come up, you go through, okay? And obviously you've got the shot. Or there's another way of doing it. We're gonna break this down in a second, okay? So you can either stop or you can come to the defender straight away, okay? And then come through, okay? So there's two ways of doing it. It will depend on the circumstances and situation. So you've got this one here, we are here, okay? Or you've got the, uh, the one we run, okay? And then boom, do it. So we're gonna switch legs, please, Brad. So left leg forward, okay, perfect. So same thing, okay? So here, you can be here on a defender, okay? Bam, through, okay? And you've got the move. We're gonna run it just one more time. So this time I'm gonna run down, okay? You can just hit the defender straight away, okay? So now we're gonna break them, uh, those moves down, okay? Um, static and non-static, and then we're gonna show you in real, real, real time, okay? So Brad's gonna be on defense, okay? So I'm gonna start here. If you start a bit back for me, okay? And you're gonna come down. Okay, so here, I'm, I'm, now I'm looking to set him up, okay? So we're gonna go here, okay? As soon as you're here, you've got him here. Okay, so you can come down the basketball court and get in that position, all right? If Brad's all over the place, he's not a defender that's staying still, and he's on me, so now this time when you're here, you're staying on me, Brad, okay? Swiping, okay, and his feet are moving, okay? I can't get, I really can't get in a position to pull the move off. I hope that makes sense. He has to be static, ideally, okay? So when defenders are like here and you're just lulling them, this is perfect, here. If we can just come around here and show them again. So if you've got a defender that's here, he's not really hassling you, okay, this is perfect. If he's a defender that hassles you, so your hands are going everywhere, you're trying to get the ball, okay, you can't really get, you can't set the move up. And that's the thing, you've got to pick the right defenders to do the right moves on. So. This is the knowledge and stuff I'm giving you guys. Rather than just show you how to do the move, yeah, you can do this move. I'm just teaching you how to break it down, learn, and become a great street ball player, okay? So, the next one was obviously not static, so we're not like this. We're gonna be running at defender. Sometimes this is a little easier to pull off, okay? Right, so me and Brad are gonna meet in the middle, okay? So, sometimes this move is easier to pull off on the move, okay? So you're coming towards the defender, you can see straight away his, his right legs come forward. He's in the position straight away there to do the move. You have to read the defenders very fast to be able to pull these moves off, okay? You want to pull them off instantly. So one time more. Running down. Brad set his feet here, okay? Boom. Now obviously if we want to run that fast time, you know you have to think really, really fast to be able to pull some of these moves off, okay? So as he's coming towards you real quick, you can see, you know, ah, 
that his, his right legs come this way and obviously that determines which hand, left or right, you, you go through the legs, okay? So this time we're gonna switch legs, Brad. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? So coming down, he set his feet, boom. Lovely. Okay. So there's, a, there's, an, there's an art form behind the move, okay? And it's, it's the movement of the defender. You pick and choose what moves um, you can pull off. The better street ball player you are, you see some of these great street ball players out there, um, a lot of them look like it's instant. That's because these moves and the, and the way that the defenders stand, they understand how to pull these moves off. So we're gonna change angles a little bit for you. Um, we're gonna go from the side, Brad. And we're gonna do the same thing. This time we're gonna uh, meet in the middle and we're gonna go static. Yeah, perfect, okay, so cool. So here, okay, now we're in this situation, we're lulling the defender, he's getting tired of you dribbling. Boom, you can hit him here. Okay, well, uh, we'll do it this side, last one. Hopefully this is uh, making sense, guys, okay? So here, so bam, okay, here. You're lulling him here, you got him here. It's a move that really does work. You have to set him up on the defender or you hit him fast. So let's go fast one last time, please. Okay. Oh, hit you. There you go. It's a cool move. Thanks, Brad. It's a sick move to pull off. Um, this is me busting it out in 2003 with the twister move, which is on my tutorial, which is basically the wraparound move followed then behind the back. And uh, it's a sick combo. We're gonna be uh, using that as a tutorial soon. We're gonna get into loads more street ball moves. Please head over to my Facebook and Instagram for a load more content, guys. Um, the YouTube, obviously, for the big videos, but there's so much content that goes on the other um, channels. 300,000 people on Facebook, 300,000 on Instagram, so head over there and support me. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon with another tutorial. Again, thanks to Brad, and uh, we'll catch you guys very, very soon.